In Big Brother, one of the most exciting things to watch happen live is a vote flip. One minute, it looks like the votes are landing on one player, but the next minute, everything changes. A group comes together to shake up the game, flip on the power structure, and before you know it, that first target is safe, and the person sitting next to them gets evicted instead. Vote flips are rare, but when they do end up happening, oh, you are in for a real treat. There are so many dynamics you get to watch in an instant once that flipped vote count is revealed. The surviving player's reaction, the evicted house guest shock, the blindsided faces of half the house, and the feigned looks of confusion from the players behind the whole plan. So today, we're going to dive deep into some of Big Brother's best flips. Consider subscribing if you aren't already, it only takes a moment to check, and without further ado, here are the five craziest vote flips in Big Brother history. Did you see the look outside? Oh, dude, I'm, first thing I did was look across the couch. He was just like this. Was like, Flipped. Look, when you think about it, there's really no other vote that could start off this video. The first flipped vote that we're going to talk about is, funnily enough, the very first vote in Big Brother history when Nicole survived the week one eviction in Big Brother 2. Mike Boogie became the first ever HOH, and his target was easy. Nicole. Nicole's abrasive personality annoyed Boogie right from the get-go, and it was enough for Mike to want her gone. In order to do this, Mike nominated Nicole for eviction alongside Cheryl. Cheryl was arguably the most liked player in the house at this point, so Mike figured that nobody would ever vote against Cheryl, especially against the hard-to-get-along-with Nicole. This made Cheryl an effective pawn, and it all but ensured that Nicole would be voted out at the end of the week. But things aren't always so simple. Mike, Will, and Shannon were getting along super well inside the house, so it only made sense that they formed an alliance, which they called Chill Town. The issue here was that they did not try in the slightest to hide their alliance, and their exclusivity and their aura of being cooler than better than everybody else turned the other players completely against them. Most of the players not in Chill Town formed a coalition in direct opposition of them called The Other People, which included Nicole. Nicole was able to convince the other people to take a stand against Chilltown, and through this, she was successfully able to rally some votes to stay. Come eviction night, Chilltown figured they had the votes to send Nicole home, but the house turned on them instead and voted out their pawn Cheryl in a 5-3 vote, absolutely blindsiding Boogie. It's pretty astonishing that the first ever vote in Big Brother history ended up being a flipped vote and a blindside, and it set the precedent that, at the end of the day, you don't actually have to do what the HOH wants. The first person I would nominate is Nicole. Excuse me, could the shower door be a little shorter? The second person I would nominate is Nicole. God, this freaking knife is like cutting with a plastic fork. She's loud, she's abrasive, she must be the center of the group. She admits readily that she's a control freak, and she is. I nominate you, Nicole, and I nominate you, Cheryl. And in this instance where I'm putting up a likable person against someone who's not very likable at all, I think they know that their fate is sealed. It's basically me being a one-man jury. Nicole is like garbage on Thursday. She's out. I absolutely, in my competitive nature, do believe that I could turn around. It's either peace or war. And I definitely foresee some wars going on in the future here. Nicole planted the seed last night. I'm willing to go along with it, and I hope it works. Nothing against Sherry, but trying to get a bunch of us to vote against Sherry so that Nicole can stay in the house, and then one of the two nominations is going to be Will. I think Nicole has a chance of staying in the house. Everybody's going to think it's going to be Nicole, but I really don't think it will be. I have no doubt I'm going to vote for Nicole to stay in the house. I cannot wait until I stay in here. I get to look a couple people dead ass in the eyes and give them that mean little bitchy ass smirk that I'm going to. The entire dynamic of this house is completely turning around. By a vote of five to three, Cheryl, you are now evicted from the Big Brother house. <laughs> I'm unpacking. I'm in shock right now. <laughs> I can't believe you guys voted for her. We're in trouble. This next vote flip is likely the one with the biggest impact on the rest of the season, and it just so happens to be another week one flip when Caitlyn flipped her vote to send Steve home in Big Brother 20. Tyler had won the first HOH and nominated Sam and Steve for eviction, with Steve being his secret target. 
It seemed like a pretty standard plan, but the problem was that Tyler didn't actually have the votes to send him home. Right off the bat, the House split up into two different alliances. On one side, you had the Level 6 alliance led by Tyler, and on the other side, you had the Faute alliance led by Swaggy C. These two alliances were split almost perfectly, but since Tyler was the HOH, he couldn't vote, meaning that the Level 6 side was actually short a number, and it looked like Sam was going to be evicted over Steve in a 7-6 vote. Tyler knew that the numbers were not in his favor, so he went to work on the one player he thought he might actually be able to flip to his side, Caitlyn. Caitlyn was on the Faute side of things, but not feeling super secure. She was feeling some sort of way about Fessy and Haley's budding romance, and Tyler swooped in on Caitlyn's emotional vulnerability in order to form an extremely tight connection with her. Then, nine hours before eviction, Tyler was able to pick Caitlyn against the head of her alliance, Swaggy C, by relaying some of the not great things he had said about her. And then, right before the eviction took place, Tyler told Caitlyn that Sam had a power app and that she would be screwed if she voted against her. In the end, this was just enough to finally sway her over, and Caitlyn flipped her vote from Sam and evicted Steve, sending him out of the house in a 7-6 vote, blindsiding the Faute side of the house, and kicking off the ensuing chaos that would envelope the rest of the season. Tyler's relentless work to try and flip Caitlyn was insanely impressive to watch, and Caitlyn's vote to evict Steve will go down as one of the most infamous vote flips in all of Big Brother. I need seven votes to keep Sam in the house. Level six needs Sam as a number because they've already pulled Steve in on Swaggy's side, so we need Steve to go this week. The tricky part is trying to secure that seventh vote without spilling the Swaggy side that we have this level six alliance. Don't stress, bro. I'm telling you. We have a vote. Swaggy, Fessy, Scotty, Caitlyn, Rockstar, Haley, Haley. Haley. Seven, done. Yeah, you're right, you're right. So we got for sure six. We just need that one. No. Who do you think would be the easiest to pull over? Caitlin. <laughs> How's your tummy? I've been starting to notice Bessie hanging out with Haley a lot more, and I'm not really sure what to make of it. And if, like, he wants to be with someone and Haley wants to be with him, that's amazing. But, like, this is just so bad. It's so bad. I'm just, like, getting really annoyed. Because he's not being honest with me about stuff. I was under the impression that he was, like, my day one, and he, he was. I literally feel like bottom of the totem pole. It kind of sounds nice to keep someone in the house that isn't affiliated with an alliance. They don't trust you. They don't trust me? Swaggy came to me and he was like, sure. He's like, she's a gamble, dude. I'm voting for Steve to stay. You can't do that. So which way am I supposed to go? You need to vote for Steve. Why? Because the power is with this group and it's going to be used. If you don't vote for Sam, you're on both me, sides. Me, personally. You. No one trusts you on the five. People trust you over here. Please cast your vote to evict. I'm so sorry, but I vote to evict Steve. By a vote of seven to six, Steve, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Well, it's finally time to move away from these week one flip votes. In its place, we have a week three flip vote. This one being from Big Brother 18, when half the house flipped the vote to save Tiffany and send Bronte home instead. Bridget had won the third HOH, but her close ally Frenick had a lot of control over her and pushed her to nominate Paul and Tiffany, with Tiffany being his clear and obvious target. Frank also won the roadkill competition, which allowed him to name Bronte as a third nominee as an additional pawn, meaning that Frank practically named all three nominees and he thought he was running the show. Tiffany and Frank had been at war in the house, and it seemed like Frank was going to win this battle since Tiffany was on her way out the door. But of course... Everything isn't always as it seems. Frank had been making some of the women uncomfortable in the house, particularly Devon, and Devon made it her mission to get Frank out of the game. Although she couldn't send him home with Bridget in power, that didn't mean Devon couldn't weaken Frank in another way. Devon recognized that Tiffany would be a valuable asset in her goal to get Frank out, so even though Tiffany seemed like the consensus vote to leave, Devon went to work to flip the script. She floated the idea to James and Michelle, and before you knew it, Devon had successfully rallied enough votes to send Bronte home and keep Tiffany. 
But Polly then caught wind of the plan and was heavily against it, which seemed to halt the flip at that point. But then it seemed like the plan was back on after Michelle and Nicole were able to convince Polly that it was a good idea. There was a ton of back and forth leading up to the vote, but in the end, it seemed like a group of seven finally came together on a decision. In an attempt to deeply confuse Frank and mask whose votes went where, five of the seven voted for Bronte while the other two voted for Tiffany, leading to the five to four blindside of Bronte that absolutely shocked Frank and Bridget. It was a wildly chaotic week with many any changes to the vote, but it ended in a satisfying flip that left Frank on the wrong side of the numbers. Another successful week in the books. Tiffany's still sitting on the block and come Thursday night eviction, she should be outside talking to Julie. This entire house wants Tiffany out of this game, but that's also what Frank wants. And I don't give a damn about what Frank wants. I want Tiffany to stay in this house and help me get Frank out. Hell, I was thinking about if we flipped and kept her in here. She's Gunning for Frank. I would definitely. Really? Let's do it. That's me, you, her, James, Willie Me Five. We have four votes to keep Tiffany in this house. All we need is one more. If I can bring Zakia on board, I think Tiffany is safe this week. As far as I was concerned, Tiffany was the target this week. So why are we going to keep somebody who's an emotional player like this who can blow up at any moment and blow up everybody's game in the house? I don't get it. Who you want to vote out? I would vote on Bronte. I think you guys are literally forgetting exactly what Vanessa did just last year. Oh, I literally had my mind made up to keep Tiffany this week, and now Polly's spitting all these reasons on why she should go, but now I have no freaking idea what I'm gonna do. Yeah, do you still think it's a good idea to send Tiffany home? Send Bronte home. Put some other person to potentially win and go after Frank. Frank will be frazzled. 24 hours ago, I was dead set on getting Tiffany out. However, Michelle brings up a good point. I vote to evict Tiffany. Bronte. 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 Tiffany. Bronte. By a vote of five to four. Bronte, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. I called her. Up next, we actually have one of the craziest weeks of voting ever, and that's because it was a flipped flip vote. And no, that doesn't mean a flipped vote that the players eventually backed out of. This was a vote that some players thought they had successfully flipped, but then one of the voters flipped on that flip in order to flip it back to the initial plan. Confused? Me too, so let's just go through it together. It was at the final seven of Big Brother 15, and the showmance of Amanda and McRae found themselves on the block after Gina Marie won the HOH. McRae won the veto to take himself off, and Spencer was named the replacement, pretty much sealing Amanda's fate. Amanda was aligned with McRae and Andy, so she thought she had those two votes to stay, but that wouldn't be enough, as that would make it a two to two tie, with Gina Marie breaking the tie to send her home. Amanda had relentlessly tormented Alyssa all season long, so there was obviously Obviously, no chance that Alyssa was going to vote for her to stay, right? Well, Amanda and Alyssa had some conversations, and Alyssa unbelievably changed her mind after realizing the benefits of keeping a giant target like Amanda in the house, and Alyssa told Amanda that she was going to vote for her to stay. This now made it a 3-1 to one flipped vote to keep Amanda and send Spencer home, which was crazy. But... Andy was then informed about this new plan, and everything changed. You see, Andy had secretly been working with Gina Marie, Spencer, and Judd to take out Amanda and McRae. Before Alyssa flipped over to Amanda, Andy feasibly could have voted for Amanda to stay in order to mask his allegiances because he knew that it would result in a tie and that Gina Marie would break it to send Amanda home anyways. But now that Alyssa had flipped, he couldn't do that anymore. So, come eviction night, Alyssa did in fact flip her vote onto Spencer to try and save Amanda, but then Andy flipped on Amanda and McRae by voting Amanda out, resulting in a really fascinating and backwards 2-2 two -two tie vote where Gina Marie then broke the tie and sent Amanda packing. Andy then pinned his vote on Alyssa, claiming that she didn't actually try to save Amanda, and Alyssa was sent home as well just half an hour later in the double eviction. It was one of the wildest and most intricate vote flips that I have ever seen, and it doesn't get nearly as much attention as it deserves. My plan is in full effect. Step one, Spencer up as a replacement nominee. Step two, get the votes and send to ass packing. You're jealous. I'm not jealous. 100%. Hey, Liz. 
Would you talk to me in a second? Sure. McCray and Andy are in my alliance, and I cannot believe that I have to ask Alyssa for her vote. And I'm gone, I feel like a lot of people will be going after you because, like, you're the next big threat. Mm -hmm. Leaving this conversation, I don't think she's taking too well to it. I have tortured her a lot lately. Believe it or not, I am actually considering keeping Amanda in this game. I want to vote for you this time. Come on. I swear to God. Right now, I have a glimmer of hope that I can actually survive. What the hell is happening? I've worked so hard all summer to ensure that I keep both sides at bay, and this is gonna out me. If I vote to get rid of Amanda, McCray and Alyssa will know that something's fishy. We have a major exterminator problem. Alyssa wants to flip the house and vote you out and keep Amanda. But like, I will 100% never vote you out ever. But what we will have to do is frame Alyssa. I will pretend like I voted to keep Amanda and that Alyssa voted to keep you. This is only a game move, but I vote to evict Spencer. I vote to exterminate, ugh, I mean evict Amanda. House guests, the votes are in and we have a tie. Nothing personal, it's all in the game move, but Amanda, get the step in. I thought I could trust you. You, Amanda, you could. What do you think happened? I think, I mean, I don't know. I really, I'm actually really dumbfounded. I think maybe Alyssa may have not voted for me, but she gave me some collateral that I think was real. And now, lastly, we have finally arrived at Big Brother 25. BB25 has been the season of almost flip votes all summer long. In weeks two and three, we watched as Suri and Izzy toyed with the idea of flipping the votes and saving the intended target, only for them to eventually back down and settle for the original plan. But, in week six, there was no more fooling around, and the vote actually flipped in very dramatic fashion. After Cameron shocked the house with his nominations of Izzy and Felicia, Sari got to work. Sari had a lot of influence in the house and planned on using that in order to keep Izzy, who was her closest friend and ally inside the game outside of Jared. And eventually, she had the votes lined up to send Felicia home and keep Izzy. But one player had a different plan in mind, and that was America. America was frustrated that the house was voting out Felicia when Izzy, who she believed was a much stronger game player, was sitting next to her on the block. So America went to work to try and flip the votes onto Izzy. After sharing some well-timed information with Corey about why he couldn't trust Sari, she successfully flipped Corey against her and he went to work on rallying the troops to vote out who he believed to be Sari's closest ally, Izzy. Corey eventually got a group of six in on this plan, and what once was going to be an eight to one vote to send Felicia home had now turned into a six to three vote to send Izzy home and blindside Sari. Sari is a pretty keen player though, and she quickly figured out that something was up. She shared her suspicions with Jared, and to Jared's credit, he made a successful bluff and got Matt to spill the beans on this new plan. Following this, chaos ensued. Lies were exposed in a shouting match between Corey and Jared that lasted for hours, blowing up seemingly every alliance that had been made all season long, and because there was so much chaos in spotlight pointed towards Ceri's core group, she didn't have the time or ability to successfully flip the vote back in Izzy's favor. Eventually, it became clear to everyone that Felicia was staying, and at the end of the night, Izzy was evicted in a vote of 8-1. to one. So many times this season has the vote almost flipped. Yet Sari always flipped it back, but in a funny twist of fate, it almost makes sense that the first successful vote flip of the season finally went through because Sari wasn't involved in it. I'm really hoping that the house is leaning towards keeping Izzy because ultimately that's what I need to happen. Sorry, Felicia. Between Felicia and Izzy, the decision is pretty clear for me. Between Jared, Suri, me, Blue being brought in by Jared, Matt being brought in by basically everybody, that's five votes. That's enough for Izzy to stay. Yeah, I don't think it's to be Izzy. Izzy is the better game player. I don't know why people don't see that. And she's on the block. Why are we all so scared to take this shot? If I want to get Izzy out, I still need to find four more votes to evict her. Do you know Suri played? No, but how do you know? She told Matt. I just want you to know that you cannot trust Suri. Why the hell is she telling Matt? Who the hell is Matt to Suri? Clearly, I'm not her number one, two, three. Maybe I'm her four. We have Izzy on the block, and taking her out would be a massive move. This is why we need to take this shot. The points do make sense, but 
needing to have Izzy gone. We only need five to make this happen. Here's the votes. Okay. Me, Jag, America, you, Mimi, maybe Matt. I'm getting a sketchy vibe from Corey and Matt. I think Izzy in trouble. Although this is a lie, I'm not sure that Matt is gonna tell me the whole and honest truth unless I frame this question in a certain way. He told me last night that y'all were gonna keep Felicia. But I have a gut feeling it's gonna flip. What is the point of all of this right now? Why is this happening? Because Jared wants to clear the air. We heard today that you warned Jared about the vote. When did we warn okay, about well, a vote? So did I ever do that? No, you never no, said that to me. I never did. Never said it to me. You must have misunderstood. No, when no, oh, whoa. Hold on, hold on. I'm flabbergasted that all of this is occurring right now. I just said, go see what's going on, Jared. I didn't say start a war. If people start to see that Sari, Izzy, and Jared are at the center of everything, they're gonna be the next targets. They're gonna be the next ones to go. So now I'm just, no pun intended, on this island, surrounded by a bunch of sharks, actually. By a vote of eight to one. Izzy, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Oh no, I'll be seeing you soon, pig. You too, pipsqueak. See you soon. <laughs> and there we go. Watching a vote flip go down is one of the most exciting things you can watch in Big Brother, and I'm so glad we got to watch one go down just last week. There is a level of sadness involved in certain vote flips because sometimes you do end up losing a player that you really like, such as Izzy, but the resulting chaos and shift in gameplay is sometimes just worth it. Some seasons, you don't get any vote flips, which usually leads to an overall boring summer, but that just makes the vote flips we do get that much more special. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I of course need to give that extra special shout out to all of my YouTube members and patrons who are all just too likable to ever be on the losing side of a vote flip. And as always, here's a clip for you on your way out. These little piggies? Oh, we're ready to get dirty. Okay, here we go, here's our scoop. <laughs> I think we look kinda cute. We can definitely- Pink is you, pink is you. Oh, the cutest pig. Oink, oink, baby. Honestly, I'm worried whether or not I can even complete it. But what's gonna get me through is knowing that Cameron's gonna be suffering right there with me. Your punishment for putting me on the block this week. <laughs>